Hi, I am Asan Kumar. I am a BE candidate at Kumbi Engineering College. Uh, our authors are uh, Yasmin and Deepa. Uh, our topic is tomato leaf disease classification using AlexNet. Uh, introduction. Agriculture productivity is something on which the economy highly depends on. In addition to this, plant disease and pests are major problem in agricultural sector. In many cases, it is not sure of the type of disease and so a wrong pesticide must, might have been used instead. It all goes in when, uh, when, we, when we use a uh, wrong pesticide. So we have to use correct pesticide for correct disease. Uh, problem statement. The duration of the initial stages required to get rid of all disease as quickly as possible and to save ourselves from the destruction. To develop a quick, automatic and accurate system for image direction for tomato leaf disease. Classes of disease. Tomato bacterial spot, tomato yearly blight, tomato late blight, tomato leaf mold, tomato septorial leaf spot, tomato target spot, tomato yellow leaf curl virus. Existing system, a deep convolutional neural network, CNN based architecture, restructured deep residual dense network RRBN for tomato leaf disease classification. Software requirements, language Python 3.0. Software Colab, Operating System Windows 10, RAM 25 GB, Disk 108 GB, Runtime GPU. Uh, these are the software requirements. Methodology. The deep learning concepts uses filters on the raw pixel of an image to classify images and to perform the image recognition. AlexNet architecture. The AlexNet has eight layers with learnable parameters. The model consists of four convolutional layer and a combination of four max coding followed by one fully connected layers. The algorithm lens which class the test image belong to and can predict the correct class of future image input and can even measure how out the accurate prediction are. This is the image of uh, architecture of uh, convolutional neural network. Here one input layer uh, and a convolutional layer in between uh, two max pooling layer and finally fully connected layer and fully connected layer after the output layer. Uh, these are the architecture of convolutional neural network. AlexNet uh, architecture process. Image, uh, first one in input image followed by the convolutional layer, max pooling layer, and finally the softmax. Modules. We are using three modules for this. Pre-processing, uh, building the model, validating the model. Modules. Pre-processing. The learning process starts with pre-processing the data set like data augmentation and the future extraction to improve the, uh, sorry, improve the accuracy of the uh, system. Uh, data augmentation is nothing but uh, we can enhance the image by changing the image position uh, such as uh, rotation uh, and applying color filters uh, from uh, gray to black, etc. And future extraction uh, to extract the important features of the image. Uh, these are the pre-processing stage. Building the model. The proposed model will be developed using various architectures. Validating the model. After successful training and pre-processing, comparison of test image and trained model take place to predict the disease. Uh, here the data set we have used. The data set uh, is taken from Kaggle data set. It, it consists of 12,000 pictures of tomato leaf disease. These are the sample leaf images uh, which are affected by the bacteria. Uh, here the uh, accuracy of the normal model. The accuracy is about 74 percentage. Uh, that, that is nothing but 0 0.74 at the loss. Here our AlexNet model. Uh, it has total parameters, total trainable parameters, total non-trainable parameters are uh, shown at the loss. Uh, our accuracy from the AlexNet model. Our accuracy is about 97 percentage, uh, while the previous uh, model has only 74 percentage. The accuracy is I in AlexNet model. These are the output snapshot. Uh, first graph shows training and validation accuracy. Second graph shows training and validation loss. Conclusion and future work. The accuracy has been achieved with deep learning concepts that is through AlexNet model. The accuracy is about 97% we achieved. Furthermore, 
Futurock will involve the training model using different architecture and the required precept will be given. These are the references we have uh, referred. Thank you for the opportunity given.